Hi, this is the OP1 field and the EP133 by Teenage Engineering. Today we're going to be exploring the creative possibilities of syncing together an OP1 field and an EP133 and using the line in as a modulation source. So let's look at how to do it. To get started, connect a USB-C to both devices and a mini TRS jack from the output of the EP133 into the line in of the OP1 field. Then you can power up both devices. First, we need to set up the OP1 field to send MIDI information out to the EP133. Simply hold shift and press COM. You can then go into the connections menu by pressing button 3 where the EP133 will then display. Here, you can change the direction of MIDI information using the gold, grey and red encoders. We'll set them all to out. The next step is to set up the EP133 to receive an external clock and MIDI information. Hold shift and press the erase button to enter the system settings. Use the plus and minus keys to navigate to the MIDI settings and press enter. Then, Go to the clock settings by hitting enter and use the plus button to change the clock source to in. Then you can press enter once again. By doing this, we have synced up both devices so that when you press play on the OP1 field, they play together. One thing to also note is that the metronome on the OP1 field is set to beat match mode so that the tape, MIDI and sequencer are all in sync. Let's go into the tape reel and check to see if they are in sync. Sounds good. Let's set up the line in to modulate a parameter on the OP1 field. Simply choose a sound engine, hold shift and press 4 and select the element LFO. Press 4 again to open up the LFO. For this example, I'm going to use the line in source to duck the synth when the EP plays a kick drum. To do this, change the source to the microphone option, change the destination to the output stage here, we can lower the modulation amount to create the ducking effect. If I play the OP1 field, you'll notice there is no ducking until I start the EP133. Let's press play and see how it sounds. This can be used to modulate almost any parameter. Now let's try it with the frequency parameter of the cow effect. I'm also going to try it with the new terminal effect, which on its own sounds like this. I really like that sound, I just want to go a bit more chaotic with the effect. Let's try it out. And that's it. Thanks for watching, and please subscribe for more tutorials on our channel.